So you have hey, three kids. I do. How old are they? 12, 9, 6. 12, 9, 6. Mm -hmm. so Two and, girls and a boy. And Violet is 12. Yes. And what was it like when you found out the, the first time you were pregnant with Violet? I woke up Not that only morning. You only I'd... pregnant with her once, right? <laughs> yeah, just once. Yeah. I've only I've only had her once. But I woke up that morning and I just knew and I peed on the stick and it was so faint. I don't know if you guys had this that first those first few days. It's like so faint you can hardly tell. So I I was on my way to work and I called my doctor and said, Can I come in and have a proper test? And he said, Yeah, sure, come in. And he gave me one and he said, You're not I don't know, you're not pregnant. It's it's negative. And I was like, Yeah, I am. I'm telling you I am. <laughs> And so she's 12, um, <laughs> and I don't use that doctor anymore, but I do have, right, I right. Do have her, so I won. Um, so it, do, you, do you like being pregnant? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, but every one I was more nauseous. I don't know, at each kid it was worse and worse. Really? Yes. So you were nauseous for Violet. I was nauseous for Violet. But then with Sarah, um, with my middle daughter, I had to listen to Yo-Yo Ma at night. It got worse throughout the day. It wasn't like in the morning and then I was fine. Like as the day went on, it was worse. And I just remember for some reason, Yo-Yo Ma was the thing that got me through. And I would lie there like this, like in the bed, just kind of waiting and hoping I would fall asleep. It's crazy, right? I mean, you do crazy things. And then with the third kid, just forget it. It's like, just forget it. It was like Happy Meals and it's just gross. It's just gross what you do. Well, I mean, one of the things for me about being pregnant is first of all, you can tell the like day two. And second of all, I carried a baby in the back as much as I did in the front. So I'd always like, I'd catch myself in the mirror and be like, ah, what is that? That is so big. Oh my God, there's another thing growing back there. <laughs> You mean your butt got bigger? So, so, so big. So part so. of the baby was actually into your butt? <laughs> I think so, Ellen. Wow. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> like stretched yeah. out? Yes, yeah. I don't know where they are. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing. So nine-year-old Serafina, right? Mm -hmm. That's her name? Yes. She is talented. She's, is this, I saw a picture that she made something for you. For my birthday, she did. She has a peg loom that she got at summer camp in her bedroom and it has 12 pegs and she makes scarves and she... She, she made she was, that whole oh, thing? She did, she was so proud of it. She'd been working on it for weeks and then it disappeared right before my birthday. In the morning of my birthday, she was like, mama, it's cold outside and I have a present for you. And she said, you can wear it right now on the way to school. And I was like, great. Yeah. I will. I will. But I mean, come on. What a great, like most daughters at that age are like you're having to kind of control them from being on the internet and doing all no. kinds of things. That's really cool that no, she does that. No, they're always just a great surprise. Yeah. So what is the biggest change that you, because I always like to have moms co-host with me on this day because they're, you know, I mean, I'm sure they have friends who have kids, but like, what is, what are they going to expect to, Ugh. like, all of a sudden having a brand new little child? Well, here's the thing, you guys. You will get your bodies back. You will get your lives back. You can still travel. You can still have fun. You can still go back to work or not. You can breastfeed or not. You will, you know, you, you will be best friends with your kid, and then someday you're going to realize you're actually angry with them, and that's OK. And you're going to be great, because it's your experience, and it's your baby, and it's your body, and it's going to happen the way you want it to, and you're starting your families. It's going to be beautiful. Because it is, it's, it's all different. Yeah. yeah. Everyone has a different experience, but as long as you love that child and are there for them, that's the most important thing. That's kind of the deal. Yep.